These unidenti unidentified aerial phenomena. <laughs> the big question in our minds today is, what is going on here with what seemed like a deluge of potential incursions? What are these objects? Where are they coming from? What is their purpose? American-made component parts in there. And are we experiencing an increase of the so-called unidentified aerial objects? <laughs> unidenti unidentified aerial phenomena. Looking for them more carefully. NORAD and NORTHCOM said there was a radar anomaly over your state. <laughs> is the policy now to shoot down any unidentified object? Cylindrical and floating over Canada or the car-sized one over Alaska? The object over Alaska was near Prudhoe Bay, which is one of the most important energy fields in this country. You were very critical, you made that very clear and plain spoken about the fact that administration didn't shoot down the confirmed Chinese spy balloon, um, and you wanted it shot down as soon as it was in U.S. airspace. According to what was declassified, that Chinese balloon could intercept signals intelligence. It could pick up chatter. It hovered over some pretty key states, uh, locations in your state, including uh, one that ho ho houses, excuse me, 150 intercontinental ballistic missiles. We ah! have American-made component parts in there. I, I want to start on this unusual activity, three takedowns in eight days. Has Congress been updated at all on exactly what these high-altitude objects are, including the one flying at 40,000 feet that was shot down over Alaska on Friday? Uh, I think, shockingly, when the balloon was recovered, it had American-made component parts in there with English on that. It was made, you know, parts made in America that were put on a, a spy balloon from China. I don't think the American people accept that. It had American-made component parts in there. So it's not clear if there's a state actor behind these other incidents, but in the case of the spy balloon... It had American-made component parts in there. This was Chinese surveillance, uh, according to the administration. You know, last month, U.S. intelligence published a report about these unidenti unidentified aerial phenomena. Four times in the past eight days, U.S. fighter jets scrambled to take out perceived threats tens of thousands of feet above North America. These unidenti unidentified aerial phenomena. It had American-made component parts in there. The spy balloon and aerial objects are a dramatic wake-up call that the U.S. isn't quite as insulated or as isolated as many like to think. It had American-made component parts in there. These unidenti unidentified aerial phenomena. 